Nothing beats making your own vanilla bean extract or essence at home. Simply order vanilla bean from us, from Loving Earth. And the difference between essence and extract is simply, essence is alcoholic and extract isn't. And so if I want to make essence, um, let's just say, we just tip and tail. Let's just say, depending on the amount of quantity you're going to make, three vanilla beans, cut them in half again, cut them in half again, doesn't need to be perfect, and get all the, get a bottle, an empty jar, and our beans usually come in these jars, so it's perfect, just, you know, have, have a bit of patience, it's good quality stuff, and it's going to last you forever, and the best thing about these essences is that the longer they stay, the better they're going to be. And what I normally do, once I've made this, leave it under the sun for a day, so it really brews up, and then keep it in a nice cool space. Bob's your uncle. And once you've done all of this, you throw it all in there, and once you've got all of your beans there, you pour in some pure organic vodka, fill it up, it will look good too. And again, depending on how strong you want this stuff to be, give it a shake. Done. Your vanilla essence. Now let's move on to making your own extract. Now extract is a bit different. It's more potent. It's a lot of flavor. And extract, you know, if you're going to making white cheesecake, obviously it's better to use essence because of the color. It doesn't, you know, it's pure, it's white. Whereas essences, extracts, they're like, they're pasty. So what I'll do, just cut the whole thing up. Yeah, and if you have any empty vanilla bean shells lying around that you used in the past, fantastic, use them as well. And what you can do with this, depending if you're going to make things in the winter, add some warm spices in there, you know, like turmeric or ginger, whatever you want. And then um, that way, you're making a nice warm sort of vanilla bean extract for those kind of desserts. And I used, remember this jar? We made our own measuring jars. Basically, oh, you know, one cup full to about five or six different vanilla beans in there. Again, depending on how strong you want it to be. Boom. Jazz it up. Start off slow. Get there. That's us. And get a nice spatula. Here's your vanilla bean extract. Gorgeous. You can store them in these beautiful jars. It's nice, you know. Sustainability. Reuse things again. There we go. Vanilla bean essence, vanilla bean extract. Bob's your uncle.